Hey you guys, it's Bray tonight. We're here with a little update on Gypsy Rose Blanchard. As per usual, she is just doing all of the hypocritical, dishonest, and annoying things. So we're going to go over what's going on with her Instagram and um, how is she utilizing her platform this week. We have a few things to go over, so if you're interested, please keep watching. Alright you guys, so I'm currently in the rabbit hole of two different topics, Mama Tot and the GoFundMe situation, and also the LeBrand fam launching this Bear Fruit app. And I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, man, this is annoying. Guess what else annoys me? Gypsy Rose. Let's pop over on Instagram and see what she is up to this week. And she has posted a few things very quickly so it's almost like i don't know like she had these ready or did her little company that she's working with post these for her i don't think that's what happened i think she just happened to post back to back to back so we're going to go over what exactly is she doing she is over here let's start at the top the most recent is showing a 4d ultrasound of her child so sneak peek 4d i will share their instagram right here is the company that in my opinion allegedly gifted this to her so that she would plug their company on her instagram this does not say gifted it does not say ad or partnership or sponsored by so i have to say allegedly but gypsy has a history of not disclosing sponsorships so even though she is working with a pr company and all of the things she wants to be an influencer right she can't even abide by the laws that influencers should be abiding by which goes back to her breaking the law and knowing that she will get away with it now she also posted this, meet our beautiful daughter in this stunning 4D 8K image from our recent ultrasound at sneak peek 4D. And of course it went on her and Ken's Instagram profiles. This right here is step one. Actually, this is probably like step two technically because step one was her oversharing everything to do with her pregnancy. So step two is showing a um, very clear image of what this child is going to look like. And this might be kind of splitting hairs or being petty to some people. But for me, if you say you're keeping your child off of social media and away from cameras and being able to be videoed and put all over the internet, you would not be sharing this kind of content with social media. She is going to become a mommy vlogger. Access Hollywood like this post. Shame on Access Hollywood. She has limited comments, of course, because that's what she does all the time. But this is, these are like building blocks to her becoming a mommy vlogger. And some people see it, some people don't. But I am telling y'all right now. The way that it's going to go is she is going to continue to make content like this. Once she has this baby, she's going to go off social media for a little while, come back with a um, an exclusive photo shoot with People Magazine, whoever, and then she's going to continue to share the baby. That is my prediction. We'll see if I'm right or wrong. Of course, I always admit if I am wrong, um, but that is my kind of guess as to how the next, let's say six months will unfold. You know, these companies that give her free stuff or are willing to work with her, all of them need to be investigated. We need to know why as a company are you so greedy that you're willing to put follower count over business ethics and the reputation that your business carries. Is that just the world that we're living in right now where follower count, like count, engagement, reach outweighs 
hey, maybe we shouldn't be gifting this to somebody that used a disabled man to kill her mother. Now, also, these are all shared within the last two hours. She's also posted this with the kiss emoji. And it's three photos, and she, I guess, thinks that she is, you know, posing and just looking fantastic. Uh, this is advocacy. Is this her being an advocate? Advocate of what? Advocate of what? You're out here showing your cleavage. You're supposed to be, you know, using your platform for good. And all we see is Lululemon leggings and cleavage. Now, 22 hours ago, she posted this little series of photos with Mia. And it says sisters with the hand heart emoji. And the only comment that I can see on my screen right now is Mia saying love you with a pink heart emoji. So again, we go back to is this just the way that it's going to be? I want Gypsy Rose's fans to stop sitting in my comment section and other comment sections and saying, you guys as commentary channels are not giving her enough time. You're not giving her enough grace. We have given her time and she's had the grace and she has had all of the opportunities to do something better and this is what we get. So this video, we get back to the same Lululemon leggings and she is making sure that her bump is very exposed. And, you know, for those people that are saying, hey, why is your bump here one day and gone the next? What's going on in this video? It just so happens that it is very visible. Now, the photo where she thought that she was going to be an IG model, that photo, don't really see the bump. Made sure that the cleavage was visible, but bump is not on display. Over here, she is making sure that it is very clear. So this is my outfit of the day. So my top is from Altered State. My leggings are from Lululemon. My boots are from Sheen. Jewelry is from Claire's. So. Now the last post that I want to go over, this was posted a day ago and it was posted by Peppermint's Age Dental, and it says, Thank you, gypsyrose.ig, for trusting us to enhance your smile. We wish you only the best. So obviously, we knew months ago that her dental work was allegedly gifted to her. So Peppermint Dental, or whatever the hell your name is, I hope that you are ready to lose business because by posting this and having it be a conversation current day is not going to shake out well for you. You, just like the company that we talked about a few minutes ago, are now on the list of people that are willing to gift, platform, um, respect Gypsy Rose Blanchard. And that comes with consequences. And those consequences are losing business, getting bad reviews, word of mouth traveling that you support Gypsy or you gifted her something or you whatever with her. And people don't like that. We are not here for Gypsy Rose. Not now, not ever. And the group of people that do not like her and do not respect her is growing by the day. And in my opinion, the icing on the cake is the fact that Ken is very clearly checking out of this. We can tell by the body language, the things that he says, he does, the way he posts in photos, the things that he um, kind of like the energy that he gives off. It's very obvious that he is not, it's not giving, I love this woman and she is about to have my child kind of vibe. There are a lot of people in this comment section saying things like shame on you for supporting someone who unalived her mother and manipulated a young man with autism and developmental delays who was, who was receiving a disability check. She manipulated him for two and a half years. Hopefully you don't encourage anyone else to do the same thing and is thinking they will profit from it. There are a lot of comments on this video just saying things like you should be ashamed 
how dare you support her, all of the things. I, I am truly almost like flabbergasted that we are, we're living in this space where Gypsy Rose is being treated as a celebrity. And I think about all of these nights that she is laid up in an expensive hotel or, you know, busy doing whatever she does when she's at home, FaceTiming Ken and getting nice comments on social media. All of those days and nights that that's happening, Nicholas Godejean is literally staring at the inside of his prison cell. And the same the next day, <clears throat> and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. And that is truly one of the most tragic things in this entire situation is not only that Dee Dee Blanchard has obviously not only been unalived by her own daughter, but also her name and her reputation drug through the mud. But we also have to think about Nick and I, I think that it's all just so sad. But either way, I am sick and tired of looking at Gypsy Rose's gums here in this photo. I do not like before and after dental work photos. It kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies, to be quite honest. But that's what's going on. Where is the advocacy? Where is the anything aside from, look at me, look at the stuff I'm wearing, look at my baby. That's all we got. And y'all, some of y'all, are eating it up. I hope you feel good about yourselves. But us, on this side, we will continue to analyze and talk about and have discussions around why Gypsy Rose does not deserve to be standing on the stage that she is standing on. Period. But that's it for today. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.